All right, well, the latest round of stimulus from the Federal Reserve has given the commercial real estate industry a pretty big boost. Here with a look, of course, with lower interest rates, and the question is, are they going to lift the real estate investors' confidence as well? And what's the sector going to look like? John Levy, president of John B. Levy & Company, is here with more on this. Okay, first of all, the Federal Reserve stimulus plan was supposed to help regular housing um, participants hasn't really done that. You're saying it's totally helped the commercial real estate market? Yeah, I, I, well, I think it has helped the housing. It'll help it a little bit more because the Fed is now buying more mortgage-backed securities. Therefore, housing uh, finance is going to be cheaper. More people are going to qualify for houses. It's going to be easier for them to buy houses, and, and it's going to be cheaper. Now, the interesting thing is the indirect effect on real estate is I actually think it hurts multifamily. Because you know that multifamily has been kind of the darling sure. of this last four or five years. And everybody said trees grow to the sky and multifamily is better every year. But with housing prices kind of bottoming and starting up, we've had a six-year bottom in housing. People are going to start buying houses. And when they buy houses... Talking about single family. Single family. And when they, don't, when they buy a house, they don't rent. So if you said, what's the, the silver lining? The silver lining is single family looks like it's starting to come up, but I think multifamilies kind of hit the top, and in the next year or two, we're going to look well, back we and were, say... We were starting to see the equation, you know, do I rent, do I buy, and the yeah. numbers were really start, are really starting to come out more towards that you should buy. Well, you should. Well, I mean, rates are below 4%, so they're giving you the money. They're saying, back it up, take as much as you can. If you can borrow for less than 4% for right. 30 years... But it's a matter of qualifying. A lot of people still have issues with that. Let's talk right. commer commercial real yeah. estate, though. What areas in particular are you liking right now? Well, we like a couple things. We like hotels, and we like hotels because they're business-related, and as the economy hopefully grows, they can raise rents every night. So well-located right. hotels we like. Uh, we like medical office buildings. Yeah, that's now, really interesting. Now, me. it's kind of interesting because you would think that, well, the Republicans would say we don't like medical office buildings because, you know, Obamacare is going to right. ruin things. People are going to leave medicine. None of that. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're Republican, whether you're a Democrat. Everybody likes medical office buildings, especially on the campus of hospitals. So right. this isn't, you know, Because doctors not, don't move, basically, right? That's exactly You set up right. your office, it really doesn't yeah. matter. People yeah. still come to see you. That's right. They, they come to see doctor. you. It doesn't matter who's elected. And you can get the most right-wing Republican, and he'll still say, I like medical office buildings. Let's talk quickly about the $700 billion in uh, commercial mortgages that are set to mature over yeah. the next year or two. What happens with them? Are they going to be able to refi those? No. No, right. Um, $350 billion this year, $350 billion next year, round numbers. Um, the interesting thing is 60-some percent of those are over 100 percent of value. So they can't be refinanced. So does that mean we're going to see a little bit of a dip in the commercial market? I don't think the dip in the commercial market is quite the right thing. I think what's happening is most of the insurance companies have right. gotten rid of the bad stuff. The CMBS is marked at the market. Where you're really going to have the problem is in the community banks, the regional oh, banks. So it'll hurt the banks. And, and I think you see this a lot with, with, right. with, with smaller developers, smaller borrowers that say, I can't get a loan from my local so bank. So it hurts the little people yet again. Yeah, John because Levy. they're stuck. Thank you very much for being with us. John Pleasure. Levy, John B. Levy and Company. Thank you, sir. All right, well, coming up, our American Airlines...